How are you going guys? It's Luke here from IPM Media. Today I'm going to be walking you through how you can create these cute little social media tiles that are engaging and you can share them across all different platforms. And I'm going to show you how you can create these using Canva, which is a super simple photo editing tool that is free on the internet, so everyone can use it. Here are some more examples of these tiles that we can create. Let's jump straight into it guys. Here's Canva. Go to canva.com, log in, create an account. You can sign in with your social media channels. I chose my Facebook. And in the top right, let's hit create a design. We're going to custom dimensions and we're going to put in 1,000 pixels by 1,000 pixels. This means it's going to be square. And the reason I choose square is because it can be shared to every single social media platform and still look nice. Because some social media platforms have different size recommendations, but if we stick with Square, it means you can share it to Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, Google My Business, whatever you wanna use, Pinterest, you name it, you can put it on there. Let's not worry about templates. Let's add some elements. What we wanna add is a background. If we go to backgrounds down here, we might simply choose to add a color. For me, I like to use a bright orange, so we'll choose the orange color. And then I've got some icons I want to include in mine. So I'm going to upload. Anything you upload previously will be put into there. I'm going to upload and I want to use, for example, this icon here, the paper icon. We'll upload that. It shouldn't take too long. And now we should be able to drag that in to Canva and use it on our project. There we go. We want to resize that a little bit. Let's make it a bit smaller. We'll make it 90 by 90. There we go, we'll center on the page. And now we're gonna add some text. We're gonna add a heading. We're gonna add a heading and we're gonna call it, what are social media tiles? I like to put the heading in a nice, in all capitals, it makes it kind of stand out a little bit. Let's drag this up to the top, make it a bit wider, so it all fits. And then underneath, we're gonna add a body paragraph. Let's use a subheading. Let's make this a bit bigger. No, let's not use a subheading. Let's use a body text. Social media tiles are small pieces of artwork designed to be shared across a variety of social media channels. Let's move this down a little bit. Let's move this down a little bit. Let's move that up down a little bit. Make that a bit bigger. And there you go. Before you know it, we've done our first social media tile. And this is a really simple one, answering your question. But if you do what I do, you can put three or four of these together and you can talk about a whole topic of whatever you'd like to choose. So they make a really good educational tool, these tiles. If you want, we can hit create a new page. And you can see it's already copied the background across. And then we can start to duplicate these and create very similar ones, like I said before. So we'll add a new icon in, we'll go uploads, we'll upload the image, and we'll go this one, for example. And we're gonna use a very similar style, so it's got a bit of continuity and a bit of branding. We'll drag that in, make that a bit smaller, about the same size. We're going to add a heading again. We'll add the heading and we'll make this heading how to make social media tiles. We'll make this a bit, a bit wider so it all fits hopefully. It might not all fit. If we're smart, we'll just make it a bit smaller, the font. We'll try 72. Let's try 65, there we go. Now we can get it to fit. Move it across a little bit. How to make social media tiles. Make that a bit smaller actually, let's call it 60. There we go, we've got a little icon there. Now let's add the body text. Step one, use Canva. And then step two, step three, step four and step five and before you know it 
you're starting to create these little educational pieces of content that can be posted on all these different social media channels and they're great for your branding and great for user awareness and they're really engaging because people like to read through these and learn. And you don't have to have the same background of this color. If you add a new page, we can go and use a photo. For example, Canva's got plenty of photos you can use for free or here's some that we uploaded. So we could drag in a wedding photo, expand it across, add a bit of spacing there, and then we can do something a bit more engaging, a bit more aesthetic. We go, how to plan your wedding. And we can create a beautiful little piece about how to plan your wedding here. Once again, we can add some subtext down here and we might want to put that to the right and we might want to go step one, decide a date. Step two, get a partner. Step three, send invites. Something like this. We can make this a bit bigger if we want. So these are some of the tools that you can use Canva to do to create exciting little social media tiles. And when you're ready to download these, you can just go up here and click download. Canva gives you a few options. We can download all three pages. And let's hit download. And here we go. Shouldn't take too long because these files aren't too big and Canvas downloaded them. They're in a zipped up folder because there's multiple of them. If you've just done one, here we go. And here they are in PNG. What are social media tiles? How to make social media tiles? How to plan your wedding? I hope this video helped guys a bit about how to use Canva to create social media tiles. These are really cool tiles because they can be shared, like I said, across all the platforms that you use. And they're really engaging and funny as opposed to just posting boring articles or whatever everyone else does on social media. If you guys enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. It means a lot. Have a great day. Thanks so much, guys. Bye-bye.